Today's food for thought comes from the second chapter of Matthew, verse 16, which reads, Then Herod, when he saw that he was deceived by the wise men, was exceedingly angry, and he sent forth and put to death all the male children who were in Bethlehem, and in all its districts, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had determined from the wise men. Christmas, specifically celebrating the birth of Christ, I tell you that that should be done with great joy. And the reason why I say that that is the case is because, well, Christ was given for the purpose of atoning for our sins, every last one of them. Through our sincere faith in him, there is no punishment from God for the penalty of living in our wickedness, that is living in disobedience of his way. And honestly, it makes me feel so good in my soul to know that while I certainly have my moments where I transgress against the Lord, the Lord, he is still tender and he is patient. He continues to love me with great mercy. So because I know that this is the love that God has for me and for all of you as well, if you believe, I rejoice in celebrating the birth of Christ. Yet to me, Christmas just isn't celebrated the way that it once was when I was a little boy. Where are the smiles? Where are the nods and the hellos that's sung about in the Christmas songs? Nowadays, people grumble and they grow upset about hearing the Christmas music, music about being merry and bright. They say that they get tired of hearing that same old song while they, throughout the year, listen to the same songs they've been listening to all of their life. You used to be able to expect a show of love around this time of year, but that has been replaced with the bitterness of apathy. Many have heard about Christ and rather than move with love, they move as Herod. Yes, we have gone through some things in our life, but don't let the world's bitterness corrupt your soul. God, he gave the world his only begotten son to teach us one thing, that one thing being to love. So let us do just that. Find something to smile about. Find something to be happy and joyful about. Move forward with an uplifting and loving spirit starting this week and then carrying it forward. It would do your soul some good and it would do souls of those that are around you. It would do them some good as well. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next food for thought.